G'day, Alistair Christie here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to take a look at recompiling a package for Delphi 11. And this, this package um, is a spell checking package from Addictive Software. Let me just bring up the web page. Addictive Software. And given that it says what's new in 2015, and it's now uh, 2021, more than halfway through, um, it, it might indicate that this, this software is um, not maintained uh, <laughs> as, as currently as I might like, but that's okay. Um, I'm only using it in one, one project, but uh, this project has a lot of packages it uses and I'm slowly migrating them all. I've already done quite a few. This is, I just thought to give, give, try recording this one um, a go and hopefully you'll find it useful. So uh, this is, this video is about building, uh, recompiling this package to install into the Delphi 11 or Delphi 11 Alexandria IDE. So uh, let's begin the video now. So let's start by, so here's the, the well, at least here's a source code uh, to where addict spell is located. Uh, oops, help, source. And there's a folder for each sort of version of Delphi. And I've created one for Sydney previously. And I might just go and open that package that's in there and have a look at it because we might be able to use the same same package. Yeah. Sydney. And I'm just gonna have a look to see where, where the um source code is being uh, compiled to. Okay, same folder. So ideally, so if we, if we go back to one of these other, um, another package I've used previously. So C4P. So what I've done in this one is in the options in the compiler, I've set the output directory. So you'll be familiar with the platform and config. So that's um, Win32 debug. Uh, but this is the product version, which is uh, 32, 22, something like that for. So basically, this means I can use the same package in each, each version of Delphi and, of course, each uh, you know, configuration or each platform. So if we have a look at that one, which was in packages, I really need to sort out the locations, 22 for uh, Delphi 11. So this is the source code for, uh, what's not the source code, the compiled DCUs for um, Delphi 11, and this is for Delphi 10.4, Sydney. And if we have a look, in the tools options, languages, Delphi library. And oh, come down, it would have been one of the first ones I did. There we go, there it is. There's the location for the compiled binaries. And of course the browsing path is set to the source code. Uh, somewhere there anyway, there it is. So just doing that, I've managed to use the same location for um, different versions of Delphi, but in this case, I am tempted just to um, make a copy of that Sydney folder. And what? I suppose it's Delphi 11, uh, just because, and open the Sydney has addict for let's say Alexandria, Alexandria, but it's difficult to spell. 
Delphi 11. Okay, and compile it. And install. So it's installed a bunch of components into the ID. We're not quite done yet because and it's gonna be like this. Oops. Yeah, and those have just been compiled. I'll just leave that one's gonna be four folder. And let's change so that's gonna be the location of the source code. So tools options. Language Delphi library and the browse path. Add that. And I'm just gonna do the same 64 bit. And back to 32 bit. Okay, and if I want 64 bit working with it, let's go. Um, Target platforms 64 bit there, no. Add platform 64 bit. And. Unit output. Put, uh, let's do that and compile. And that should have our. Okay, so that's all good. Um, but we need to add. This path to our 64 bit library path. Okay. So that should be all we need for just to create a uh, useful save changes. And throw an addict spell. Component on there. So, uh, and that should compile. Yes. Okay. So that's good. So I'll just have a quick look and see what other, um, if we go. Okay. A dick spell. So now I've only got three packages I need to um, uh, get installed. And none of these are really worth demonstrating. Um, Something I've neglected is if we add a 64-bit platform and that's selected, and if I try and compile, we see that we get a large number of errors of missing DFM files. So this is basically because the linker needs to be able to find these DFM files to compile the application for 64-bit, but it doesn't know about them in this folder. Um, the ID knows about them in terms of the pass files, but not the when it comes to link. So what I can do, I could probably just like some horrible hackery um, thing like tools, options, in the library path. And if I go add that folder, it'll find the DCUs oh, <laughs> for 64-bit. So it should find the DCUs first in the 64-bit folder and then find the DFM files and possibly resource files and have you in that folder. Let's, let's see if that works. Um, but um, I'm not sure that's really ideal. So what I'll do instead, let's remove that, that folder. No, we actually needed that one and that one. This is me getting confused between the 32-bit and 64-bit. 
Okay. Let's delete that one. So that should not compile again. Seven errors. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go star dot them. And I'm guessing there are seven of them, or oh, eight. Okay. And throw them in that folder. And it might compile it, might com um, complain about a resource, but it doesn't, so that's good. Uh, let's just verify the feature that still compiles just fine. Cool. So that should now work both 32 and 64 bit. I'm actually possibly not going to need this quite so much because of but the spell checking available on memos and hopefully DB memo, which I haven't tested yet. Um, so that's that package all installed. A um, little bit of hackery going on, um, but uh, it's I won't probably ever recompile that package again in uh, in Delphi 11. It will just just be there, um, and I can take advantage of it. So um, thanks for watching this video. I'm Alistair Christie. Hopefully, it wasn't too much of a mess, and I hope you found it useful. Also, uh, do check out my book code faster in Delphi. Um, it, you'll become much more productive if you get around to reading it. It's a short read, it's 160 pages, uh, but it's got a lot of content in it. So uh, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next video.